About last week, um, I'm going to touch on a few things that we spoke about, mainly No Man's Sky, but we'll get into that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we're going to talk about Final Fantasy 15 real quick. We're going to touch on, we reported that like the day it was announced Yeah. or the day it was rumored by Gamnesia.com mm-hmm. and Square Enix had not made a statement. Mm-hmm. But now they have. Oh. And I was like, what's the deal with uh, production on games and stuff? How does that work? Well, it turns out that I was kind of right mm-hmm. in what I said about the patches and everything. Because the game, the physical disc, is going to include the day one patch on the disc. Yep. So you will not have to be connected to the internet in order to right. download that day one patch. Right. The uh, generous people at Square Enix <laughs> have saw fit to make the game fully playable for people with or without an internet connection. Mm-hmm. But honestly, if you don't have an internet connection... Why do you play video games? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, there's there are a lot of games out there that do not have multiplayer elements to them, and True. Final Fantasy 15 probably going to be one of those. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure. Um, but anyway, so that's the deal with Final Fantasy 15. So we'll get into No Man's Sky. So Sean Murray, I mentioned in my review last week that he was not. Uh, or I'm sorry, that he was not going to have paid DLC yeah. for No Man's Sky. Which, you know, when you said that to me, I was like, that's awesome. fucking amazing. Right. Yeah, it's I've great. never heard that. Well, he kind of backtracked on that. Of course right. he did. Of <laughs> with, course he did. With an, in an interview he did, he's like, well, there might be some features that we may decide that they need to be paid for. So that kind of pay 99 cents me and get 10,000 plutonium on the game. And speaking of transaction, speaking actually. of reviews, there's a website called Jezebel and I sent you a screenshot. <laughs> yeah, you sent me like I that... wasn't even sure that that was legit. But is it like is It's that legit. legit. <laughs> I looked it up. Jezebel.com, they posted an article said why isn't it called No Woman's Sky? And uh, what the author said, For those of you who have spent the past week wondering why Jezebel has not yet published a review of the long-awaited PC-slash-console game No Man's Sky, allow us to explain ourselves. We find the name of this first-person space travel game to be distasteful, offensive, and shamelessly (laughs) anti-feminist. The title of the game is called No Man's Sky. Yep. And but here's the thing: if the sky doesn't belong to any man, mm-hmm. would it belong to a woman? Yeah, uh, yeah. Clearly, if it belongs to no man, it belongs to every woman. So right? I feel like Jezebel is completely off base here. Well, and honestly, I think a lot of these like SJW types are just really grasping at straws to find something to be, to be angry, about. offensive, yeah. or offended by. Yeah, but. That aside, well, well ask... and I will just say oh, real quick because Jezebel is part of the Gawker Media Group, mm-hmm. right? Which Gawker also has Kotaku. They also have Io9. They also posted uh, Hulk Hogan's. Sex yeah, tape. They, yeah. Of course, they, Gawker is a piece of shit generally, but they already have two specific websites that deal with video game and pop nerd pop culture stuff. So why would Jezebel even need to do a review of they it? They put that article out just to jab just to prod, at, just, just to, to prod, prod the people. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Just to just to poke at the people that would be like, fuck Jezebel. Because honestly honestly, I think the reason that they did it was because a post like that would go viral because people would be tweeting it and yeah. posting about it on Reddit. Mm-hmm. Um but, you know, whatever. Ask me if I'm still playing No Man's Sky. Are you still playing No Man's Sky? No, I'm not. I traded what? it in today. <laughs> what? We were just talking about it yesterday. Just you were talking about you... it yesterday. And I played <laughs> it earlier today. I traded it in. Um, I stumbled across... I've been trying to stay away from spoilers, but I stumbled across a Reddit post today, and it was like, I finished the game. Is that it? <laughs> and basically, when you reach the center of the galaxy, there's no cutscene. There's no... Uh, message to the player there's no picture of sean murray's head (laughs) saying fuck you or anything (laughs) you just go into a black hole and then you end up in another planet and your ships broke down and you basically just start over again 
Well, uh, that's that, like that from what I, I again, I haven't played it, but like I heard that if you make it to the middle of the galaxy and you have 10 of the Atlas sphere. Things, oh, no, I've already gotten past that. Part. Yeah, I had the 10 Atlas stones. I went to Atlas. My Atlas journey was over. Yeah. And basically what you do with that is it creates a new. Yeah, star. it creates a new fucking universe or yeah. whatever. Yeah. So that's all there is. I've done everything there is to do in the game. I had a, I maxed out my ship. Mm-hmm. I maxed out my multi-tool. I maxed out my exosuit. And now I'm just... Now you, yeah, I'm yeah. done. Yeah. And so I, I took it to the video game place. I got $25 for it. Not bad. Which is a little less than half of what I paid for. Mm-hmm. So I would say for... $35, I got my money's worth, mm-hmm. and I traded it in, and I got Hyrule Warriors for the Wii U. Oh, nice. Which is really fucking fun. I've yeah. played a lot today. Uh, <laughs> if you've ever played any of the Dynasty Warriors games, yeah, yeah. yeah it's just like that, but it's with Link. And, and I know how much you like the Dynasty Warriors Oh, I Warriors love Dynasty games, Warriors. So. Honestly, I've had at least two to three Dynasty Warriors games for each PlayStation console since the PlayStation 2, mm-hmm. including a Dynasty Warriors game on the PSP. Mm-hmm. And they're just mindless carnage, yeah. and they're really fun. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's one of those titles that I always wanted to pick up for the Wii U, and there's games I own for the Wii U that I won't trade in because I want to at least have a complete collection of the first party titles on the Wii U mm-hmm. because it is my uh, prophetic statement that the wii u is going to be remembered like the dreamcast where mm-hmm. it never really took off but there's a lot of great games for it oh yeah so i still need smash brothers i still need mm-hmm. mario kart mm-hmm. i need i have the wind waker hd yeah i only have that as a download so i want a physical copy of that mm. i want the physical copy of twilight princess hd and or wait no it's skyward sword hd yeah. and i'll be getting breath of fire or breath of the wild yeah which looks Wii. amazing. Yeah, it looks fucking crazy. And yeah. and I think, you know, I just picked up Pikmin 3 not too long ago. Mm-hmm. I've got all the Mario games. So I, I think I'm 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 getting real close mm-hmm. to at least having the first party titles. Yeah. I think there's been two to three hundred games released for the Wii U. Most of them in Japan. A lot of them aren't games that I really have any interest in playing. So I think as long as I get those first party titles, then It'll be good. The unfortunate thing about first-party titles for the Wii U is that they really hold their value. Mm. Uh, Hyrule Warriors was forty nine ninety nine used. Okay, <laughs> wow. I saved ten dollars on it, uh, but I did manage to pick up Pikmin three, the blue box edition, not the red box edition, for twenty bucks uh, a couple bad. months ago yeah. used. So, and that that edition is out of print. Mm. So I'm 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 happy about that, mm-hmm. and uh, so. Silver lining around No Man's Sky. Yeah. I kept myself occupied for almost two weeks. Yeah. Okay. I was able to do a review of a game the week it came out mm-hmm. on our new podcast. Mm-hmm. And I was able to use, to parlay that into Saving making my money. Wii yeah. U collection a little bit more complete. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. So that's that's it for about last week. Um, so what are we going to go on to next here? So uh, we can talk a, a little bit about uh, some new shows and potential movie stuff. Let's do it. Let's do it.